Welcome, Lils. I'm back, guys, with another video. So, yes, yes, it's been a little bit of a minute. All right, but I'm back. This is going to be for October. All right, so if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll be happy to have you here with us. You can click the bell to subscribe as well, guys. If this message happens to resonate with you, all the better. Be sure to like and share and of course subscribe if you're new all right so let's talk leos let's see what's going on with the leos for october this is a general read it may or may not resonate okay leos let's see give me a message for leos for october please All right, so we got the fool here at the bottom of the deck. All right, oh, wow, okay. Oh, all right, so like I said, the fool here at the bottom. We got the Knight of Pentacles. It's like it's either somebody thinks that you're a fool <laughs> or maybe you're feeling foolish in a situation. You're trying to avoid feeling foolish in a situation. For some of you, it definitely has something to do here with the marriage, here with the Four of Wands, and somebody possibly needing to get a divorce. We got Justice and the Three of Swords, okay? So, it's like there's a possible thoughts of a divorce or there's a, something here on the table about a marriage, okay? So, let's see what's going on. All right, so we got the Queen of Swords and the Magician. All right, as well as the Devil, okay. And the Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Six of Swords. The Hermit, Queen of Wands, Six of Cups. And the Ace of Cups. Okay. I see you thinking about something. Like, you're you're thinking about something. You're looking at a situation very logically with the Queen of Swords energy. There's a, could be a Capricorn here or a Virgo. Uh, um, as well as a fire sign like yourself, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And there's a few a little bit of water here as well, too. Um, I want to talk more about this Queen of Swords, okay? You want to make something clear to someone, okay? I feel like you're making something clear to someone. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Ten of Pentacles, okay? So you want something serious. You want something long-term, You're looking ahead, okay? Yeah, you want to move forward. You want things to be secured, okay? You want something serious. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. Either somebody wants a serious relationship with you, and maybe you're avoiding this, or you want a serious relationship with someone. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Five of Swords. Okay, so there is something that you could possibly be feeling overwhelmed about or feeling defeated. Okay, you feel like maybe this relationship is causing more havoc than it is um, anything else. Yeah, see, I'm seeing your intuition is telling you to end this situation. Like, just to cut it off, we got the High Priestess, Ten of Swords, and Ten of Cups. Your intuition could be telling you. Look, this situation is, it ain't going, I'm not going to get the results that I want. You want somebody that's going to stick around to the end. Why is the devil card here? Some of y'all could be dealing with the Capricorn or a situation. It's just toxic. Maybe there's codependency issues here as well. Nine of Cups, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want this person to be obsessed with you. You want this person to, like, show you. Show me, okay? Because right now, I feel like a lot of y'all are feeling overwhelmed. Like, you just feel like this situation is so burdensome, okay? This offer of love is just like, it's too much 
Um, but I do see, like, you want somebody who's obsessed. Like, you want that uh, energy, okay? And you, you're, you're serious about it. You want something long-term. But I feel like with that Five of Swords here, I feel like maybe there's a feeling of defeat. All right, so the Magician is here as the challenge. Ooh, okay. So... There's a tower moment. For some of you, there could have been a pregnancy scare with the Empress and the tower. Okay, this could symbolize miscarriage as well um, or a possible pregnancy scare. Why is the Three of Swords here? I'm getting a very painful situation. The hangman. There's a painful situation here, um, and it's kind of I'm getting like I'm getting like you guys could be feeling a little stress, okay? Possibly because the situation is on hold for now, but I do see some progression moving forward, okay? So maybe I could be dealing with the cancer. Nine of Pentacles is here with the Seven of Swords. Somebody here is trying to get justice. We got the will and the justice card and the four of wands. Somebody here is trying to get justice, but they're doing it in a sneaky way. Why is the seven of swords here? Six of pentacles. Somebody could be being lied to, manipulated, tricked. Um, maybe you feel like this person isn't being honest. You feel like, um, maybe you feel like, why now? Okay, why now? Um, why you want to give this attention now? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Justice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants justice, and they're going about it in this in a. <laughs> I'm getting like somebody wants to even the score. This could be you. You could be feeling like you want to even the score. I feel like some of y'all are going through hell trying to even the score. We got temperance here. You could be dealing with uh, Sagittarius as well. Some of you definitely, there definitely was a pregnancy here with the Empress and the Ace of Wands. Um, that's not everybody, but I do see um, signs of a pregnancy um the empress is the mother card as well so some of you could be dealing with the uh, a mother or an aunt or a feminine energy as well this energy could be a third party person third party doesn't necessarily have to be a lover as well but i'm just getting like you were taking some type of break you want to take some type of break you feel like maybe you need to grow in certain areas um, the Empress is about growth and expansion as well. But I'm seeing you take a break of some sort. I'm, I'm seeing like you want to take a break because this situation that you're in now is really stressful. It's stressful. I feel like you want more from a situation. You want it more out of a situation. And it's just stressful trying to get to that point. Some of you want to move on, um, but you're feeling stuck. Okay, so that's future energy. Some of y'all are trying to move on, or are, are some of you are going to have the courage and strength to move forward. Come on, you're a Leo. But some of you are, I'm feeling stuck, okay? Stuck. You want to move on. Think about moving on. You're trying to get over a situation, but you're feeling stuck here with the Eight of Swords. You want to be free. We got Three of Wands and a Fool. You want to be free. You want to be free from this situation. Why is the Eight of Swords here? But it's something about this situation that's keeping you stuck.
Yeah, and disappointment, four of cups. Some of y'all are just feeling down on yourself in the near future because the way a situation is turning out or has turned out. I feel like a situation could be a relationship with the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. This relationship could be on a, on again, off again. Okay, like it's not steady. It's one week is like this, the next week is like that. I feel like there's a lot of uh, disagreements going on here with the Five of Wands. I feel like you want to be free. You're trying to free yourself from a situation that you feel stuck in. You feel like you should have waited to make a decision. I see the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. There's something about a decision you feel like you should have waited. But you wanted to see... I feel like um, you could be doing, trying to get a little bit of information as well. Trying to see if you should follow your intuition about a certain person or a situation. Um, you feel like you should have said no about something. Um, you feel like you should have said no about something. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting like wasted, wasting time. Okay, so you feel stuck because you feel like you wasted or you are wasting time. Okay, somebody is wasting time about making a choice. Now, this could involve a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, with the Two of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy. Strength card here. Always. With, uh, is you guys' energy. Okay, and this Four of Wands, okay, and this King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. There's something that you want to work on to try to find balance and fix. Um, you still have hope for a situation, but some of you may be walking away from a situation. All right, so now it looks like you're in hermit mode. Maybe you're trying to ghost the situation. Maybe you're spending a lot of time alone. Why is the hermit here? The Knight of Swords. Oh, so I feel like you're angry. I feel like you're angry. Some of you are feeling like, you know, I'm angry. Uh, some of y'all are placing the blame on yourself. Some of y'all are feeling like you rush or you're rushing. Yeah, nine of swords. Lots of... of um worrying energy here stuck energy stuck in your thoughts and there's that full energy again maybe you feel like you took a risk and now you're overthinking that you're overthinking it tell me more about nine of swords the tower wow something is falling apart there's something that happens all of a sudden that has you in your head. Somebody here is somebody uh, external to you is trying to hold on to you. Okay, we got the four of pentacles. This person here is trying to keep a tight leash on you. Why is the four of pentacles here? Two of pentacles. Okay, they could be juggling over here. I'm definitely getting a decision needing to be made. Yeah, they're not sure what they want to do with the two of swords and the lovers. They're not sure what they want either. They just want to hold on to you. Why is the two of pentacles here? Yeah, the page of swords. They're just spying on you, watching you, watching everything you're doing. But they're trying to make, they need to make a decision as well. There's that fool again. This person wants to see how far you will go. This is what it looks like to me. There's an offer here on the table. Possibly an offer of marriage here with the higher fund. Okay. An offer of a higher level of commitment. Um, there's an offer on the table. But the thing about this offer is it ain't much. With that five of pentacles. 
but they could be willing to put the effort in, but there's not much that they're bringing to the table. This person here, you got to watch this person because we got the King of Wands and the Six of Wands. This person could be all about doing things for attention, trying to get ahead of their competition. Um, this person could have a whole bunch of options that they have possibly dropped. Maybe you're the, uh, the best option. Okay, but you got to be careful with this person because that King of Wands and that Six of Wands is definitely someone who feels themselves to be, you know, they're ego-based, ego-driven. Tell me more about the Fool. Page of Pentacles. This person wants to see what you're going to say about something. There's a decision that definitely it's time to make some type of decision for sure. Now, in your hopes and fears, it's the Six of Cups. I feel like you are reminiscing. You're looking at the past. Maybe something about the past scares you when dealing with this person. Or you're just looking over your past experiences. Somebody here, I see. It's like everybody knows what's going on in this relationship okay or in your past you're looking at your past how everybody knew what was going on but then somebody walked away somebody declined that offer somebody walked away from the, from an offer king of pentacles somebody declined some type of offer somebody walked away could be from a virgo taurus capricorn this person here, it's like your intuition was telling you that this person was going to ask for something. Like, there's something about this person. You need to keep your guard up about this person because there's something about this person. Like, I feel like you intuitive, intuitively know this already. I feel like you got somebody who's uh, dependent, codependent upon you, okay? Clingy, especially with that devil card here and that nine of cups and that ace of pentacles. Like, somebody... Here is kind of like I'm getting obsessed energy. Um, with this Ace of Cups as the outcome, I feel like you're going. Some of y'all are waiting for a, a new beginning. Some of y'all want something new. We got the Queen of Cups here. She keeps revealing herself. Eight of Pentacles, and yeah, it's like some of y'all feel like you should have waited. There's something here about feeling like you should wait. Um, and some of y'all are looking for something new. New love is coming in. But I see a lot of you trying to close a chapter. Okay. Like, I feel like some of y'all want to end something. But some type of truth needs to get out first. There's some type of truth that needs to get out. Or you want to say. But some clarity... I feel like you. some of you walk away with the clarity that you need. Um, it gives you the courage and the strength to walk away. But there's definitely a decision. I feel like your person that you could be dealing with is juggling possibly um, on making a decision of some sort. I feel like they're watching you as well. Um, they could be throwing rocks and then hot in their hands trying to get information on you on how you want to move. But this person is sitting back really observing you. I feel like some of you are could be going through some type of trauma of some sort. And the situation could be causing a little bit of pain, a little bit of anguish. Um, but I feel like moving ahead, a decision is going to have to be made because you need to make a decision on whether if you want to stay put in this situation, stay stuck in this situation or move forward. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below and I'm going to chat with y'all on a later date. Ciao for now.